Okay, this is a quick video into Red Room. So, I went to Giant today because I got like just some small like groceries or whatever. And I came across this. So, it's this thing. I don't talk about this much. This is a childhood memory. Not this, not this, but like the food itself. It's the Hush Puppies. It's one of my like favorite like childhood foods. It's not like overly like done up as a food. The ingredients list here what have you think. But it's just like cornmeal. That's really ba the basis of it. You can put like onions and stuff in there. Like garlic, salt, pepper, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so it's akin to like a fried ball. Not doughy. It's not like doughy where you can just part like a donut or something. But it's like cornmeal. But yeah, I saw these and I got these Savannah Classics. I used to spend a lot of time in the Carolinas. Uh, so like as a child, so my family's Virginian. I have some South Carolina roots, but that's not why we went down there to the Carolinas. We went down there because of like extended like relatives, people who married into the family, they were down there. And so like I would go down there. And like the person like cooked or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, like, hell yeah. Like I used to love hush puppies. That was like my favorite part of being down there, to be honest. But yeah, so I don't eat them that often and places up here don't really serve them. So yeah, so it's one of those foods that I'm like, okay, I need to like learn how to make so I can be free and have fun. But anyway, I'm gonna like try them. I like left them in the oven. Hopefully I didn't overcook them because they said 14 to 16 minutes and they're pretty small so it's very easy to like burn them. So let me say, usually I dip it in ketchup. I have this like ketchup that's made with stevia and I'm just like, mm, hopefully it doesn't fuck up the experience. Anyway, my whole part. pretty akin to like what I grew up with. I feel like it's not so crispy traditionally, but it is like fried. So if I got it homemade, it probably would be, they would be bigger one, just slightly bigger. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder if I can make them sweet. Like I wanna like make a spicy version, a sweet version, an ultra savory version. I wonder. I wonder if I can do that. That's the video, y'all. <laughs> I think I burnt. I think I burnt. Burnt them a little bit. Let me see. Like a little bit of. Well, you may not be able to see it, but a little bit at the end. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna spend time doing this over the winter. Making hush puppies. It's just like a childhood memory thing. Because it doesn't have a lot of taste, to be honest. Like just like salt, pepper, like garlic, onion type stuff. It's just like a core memory. A lot that I really like. I don't know. I'm like really happy. I'm like happy I found it in the store. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I burned them. So, what are some childhood foods that you used to enjoy that you don't enjoy too much? But you would be very excited if you were presented with them. Either like they're f like a frozen food or like somebody like literally cooked them for you. 
let me know down below. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.